What if the hero you admired was also the villain? Atachi Uchiha, the man whose actions shattered the Hidden Leaf Village, has a past far more complex than most realize. To understand Atachi, we must go beyond what we've been told. Was he a savior in the skies or a monster lurking in the shadows? The Uchiha clan was not just any clan. They were one of the most powerful and feared in the Hidden Leaf Village. Known for their unparalleled mastery of the Sharingan, the Uchiha were considered by many to be elite of the ninja world, but with that power came an immense burden of expectation. Even as a young child, Itachi felt the weight of his family's legacy. His father, Ugaku Uchiha, was the clan leader and placed enormous pressure on Itachi to live up to the Uchiha name. But Itachi was not like other children. While his peers played and trained for the future, Itachi was already thinking about the nature of peace and conflict. By the time Itachi entered the academy, his genius was undeniable. He was the top student, mastering techniques that even adult shinobi struggled with. But what many didn't know was that Itachi's mind was already far ahead of his years. He was constantly questioning the purpose of war, the meaning of peace, and whether the shinobi world could ever truly be saved from conflict. There was, however, one person who brought out a different side of Itachi, his younger brother, Sasuke. Despite the harsh expectations placed on him, Itachi always found time for his little brother, showing him kindness and warmth. For Itachi, Sasuke represented everything he wanted to protect. Sasuke idolized his older brother, seeing him as the perfect ninja. Little did Sasuke know, however, that Itachi was already carrying the heavy burden of protecting not just him, but the entire village from an impending disaster. Beneath the surface, the Uchiha clan was plotting a rebellion. After years of being marginalized by the village leaders, particularly after the Nine Tails attack, Uchiha's resentment had grown. Fugaku Itachi's father was at the center of this brewing conflict, leading the charge for the clan's uprising. But Itachi's loyalty was torn. While his family planned to rebel against the Hidden Leaf, Itachi had seen the horrors of war firsthand. He knew that another conflict, this time within the village, could destroy everything he cared about. And so, he was faced with an impossible choice, protect his family or protect the village. At the age of four, Itachi witnessed the devastations of war during the Third Great Ninja War. This experience had a profound effect on him, fueling his desire for peace. Itachi's delusionment with the shinobi world grew as he realized that the cycle of hatred seemed unbreakable. But could he, a single individual, do anything to change that? At just 13 years old, Itachi was recruited into the Anbu Black Ops, an elite covert unit that carried out secret missions on the behalf of the village. For Itachi, joining the Anbu was more than just a sign of his talent. It was a chance to gather information on both sides of the brewing conflict between Uchiha and the village. Itachi now living a double life. On one hand, he was a loyal member of the Anbu, protecting the village's interests. On the other hand, he was a member of the Uchiha clan, a family on the verge of rebellion. Itachi's ability to walk this thin line without arousing suspicion was a testament to his genius, but it was also tearing him apart from the inside. It was during these secret meetings with the village's top leaders that Itachi was given a terrible ultimatum. Danzo Shimura, one of the most powerful figures behind the scenes, presented Itachi with a choice, allow the Uchiha to rebel, which would spark a civil war, or eliminate his entire clan to save the village. Itachi chose the latter, believing that sacrificing his clan was the only way to prevent an all-out war. But he made one condition, Sasuke would be spared. No matter what happened, his little brother would live. Itachi's request to spare Sasuke was met with skepticism by Danzo, but ultimately, he agreed. Itachi had made his decision, and the fate of the Uchiha was sealed. And so, on one fateful night, Itachi did the unthinkable. He slaughtered his entire clan, leaving only his little brother alive. To the village, Itachi became a traitor, a murderer who had wiped out his own family for power. But the truth was far from, far more complex. Itachi's final moments with his parents were perhaps the most tragic. His mother and father, knowing what was to come, accepted their deaths without resistance. In their final, mo in their final words, they asked Itachi to look after Sasuke, a request that would haunt him for the rest of his life. 
But was Itachi's decision really that simple? Some fan theories suggest that Itachi's true goal was even deeper. One theory is that Itachi was not just trying to prevent a civil war, but was actually laying the groundwork for a greater plan. One that would reshape the entire Shinobi world. This theory suggests that Itachi's actions were part of a long game. One in which he manipulated not only the Uchiha and the village, but also Sasuke himself. By setting Sasuke on the path of vengeance, Itachi may have been preparing his brother to become strong enough to challenge the very system that had led the Uchiha's downfall. After the massacre, Sasuke was left with nothing but hatred for his brother. His entire life became a quest for revenge. Sasuke didn't know was that Itachi had orchestrated everything to ensure his survival, and perhaps even his ultimate victory. Every step of Sasuke's journey, from his days as a young Ginning to his defection from the village, was driven by his desire to kill Itachi. But when the truth about Itachi's actions was finally revealed, Sasuke's world was turned upside down. Their final battle was won for the ages. Itachi, weakened by illness, still fought with all his strength, pushing Sasuke to his limits. But in the end, Itachi didn't seek victory, he sought closure. And with his final act, he revealed his true feelings to Sasuke, not as an enemy, but as a brother. As Itachi collapsed, he loved Sasuke with a final gesture of love, a gentle tap on the forehead, the same gesture he had used throughout their childhood. In that moment, Sasuke realized that everything Itachi had done was for him. Itachi's death marked the end of an era, but his influence on the shinobi world was far from over. The truth about his sacrifice changed everything for Sasuke, who would go on to play a pivotal role in the fourth great ninja war, and even after his death, Itachi's legacy lived on in the hearts of those who knew the truth. So was Itachi a hero or a villain? The truth as always lies somewhere in between. Itachi's actions was, were undeniably brutal, but they were born out of a desire to protect those he loved. He was a man who sacrificed everything for the sake of peace, even if it meant becoming a villain in the eyes of those he cared about. In the end, Itachi Uchiha's story is one of tragedy, sacrifice, and redemption. He was both a hero and a villain, a man who walked the line between light and darkness, and though he is gone, his legacy will never be forgotten. Itachi's legacy lives on, not just in Sasuke, but in the entire shinobi world, hero, villain, or both. His story is one that will be debated for generations to come. Want to uncover more hidden truths about your favorite characters? Hit that subscribe button and join us as we deep dive into the world of anime. Sigma 2 Brow, peace.